Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on September the 15th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So um, coming up on Tuesday, we have uh, earnings numbers here from the pound from UK. So with this one here, if we um, so right now we are expecting a decrease in the average earnings number, which is to be expected as um, um, as we have seen the economy has really essentially been shut down uh, pretty much uh, around the world um, over summer and over the last few months. So with this one, uh, basically, if the data is in line with expectations, then I wouldn't expect much of a change. But if it's negative, if it comes in below expectations, it could have a, a bigger negative impact on British pounds. So today they did pass the first stage of the bill that we're basically they're looking to break the Brexit agreement. And um, and that is, so right now the market's kind of waiting for it. Uh, that is not a good thing because that will create, open up another can of worms. Um, and then basically everybody would have to, US has threatened um, UK uh, in terms of not, they don't want them to break international agreements. So there'll be more of a fallout from it. So we'll have to see how that all plays out. But essentially the more uncertainty there is around it, the more more negative will be for British pound. So essentially if the data is negative, if the, if the data is positive, it will help British pound. Um, however, not as much, but that, so the negative will have uh, data that's worse than expected will have more of a negative impact on the pound at this point. Um, all right, so we do have CPI numbers here as well uh, from France. We have zero economic sentiment numbers. These will be important. And uh, we did see a big move up in, um, in Euro following the ECB monetary policy meeting where they essentially said that they're not concerned about the strength in Euro at this point. Uh, but now um, there's always an adjustment after a big move. So, um, so with this one here, um, if the data is below expectations, I wouldn't expect it to really break Euro at this point. If it's positive, that is going to support the Euro. Uh, but between euro and pound, euro is definitely, um, when there is uncertainty around Brexit, pound tends to suffer more than euro does. Uh, all right, so other than that, we have Empire State Manufacturing Index numbers, capacity uh, utilization rate, um, all of these numbers here uh, coming up in the New York session. So we'll keep an eye on them. Uh, this is not critical data. so. It may have an impact, but I wouldn't expect a huge. Um, so any positive numbers here will support the stock market. So we have seen the stock market has um, kind of dropped over the last week. We saw a drop and then it's been, tra it, it was trading sideways. And right now it is still trading sideways. So market's kind of uh, trying to find its feet here, but Leading up to uh, to the elections, I would expect volatility in the market just because of the uncertainty around the elections. And this election uh, or these elections coming up are are quite important because there is so much going on right now um, in the U.S. So plus the stance that U.S. has taken under President Trump. Now everybody, essentially the world is waiting to see what happens with the election. So just be prepared for a volatility leading up to election. So US dollar will be impacted, well, stock market will be impacted. And as a result of that, US dollar will be impacted as well. And then we have current account number, which is your uh, similar to your trade balance numbers here uh, for both New Zealand and um, Japan. Now this is looking positive. So if it's positive, um, that would be good, but any negative numbers, especially for the Japanese yen can have a negative impact um, on the yen. So we'll watch out for that. But overall, not the critical data except for the pound numbers here. So these ones, even though they're marked as yellow, they generally tend to be market moving. All right, so let's go on to our charts here. We'll start off with Euro dollar. Euro dollar, um, it does look bullish here for the last uh, three days. We have seen that prices moved up 
um, or last two days, I should say, prices moved up, but the momentum seems to be lacking at this point. So I would look for a further move to the upside, uh, potentially to retest the high here, but we may see a drop from here. So basically I'm looking for um, price to go in, test this level, um, which is, which is the basically the little range that it has been trading in um, over the last little bit here. And then this will be a good place to look for reversal signals here. So right now a bias is neutral to bullish, but I'm really not expecting a huge move to the upside, more of a smaller move and then a turnaround here. So neutral to slightly bullish there. Pound dollar here, this one has gone up, um, but as we can see, there is a large pin on the top and there is bullishness in this candle, which means we could see a retest here. So again, I will look for a retest of the high of today's candle here. And, um, or what could happen is price just goes into uh, 128.85-ish level. Um, or 129.20. So those are the two levels that I'm looking for here. With this one, again, I'm not super bullish, but especially with the pound, I'm just not super bullish here. Now, um, this will be volatile tomorrow because of the, uh, the numbers that are coming up in terms of employment. But here as well, I'm looking for a retest and then a drop potentially. So the only thing that would can cause it to go all the way up would be super strong employment numbers, which would show that um, that basically the UK economy is more resilient than um, everybody's thinking and may be able to survive uh, the basically the, the divorce from EU, especially if they completely um, break the Brexit agreement. Uh, so right now um, I'm neutral on this one. Aussie dollar here. This one is looking neutral as well. Hasn't really done a whole lot. It keeps hitting this resistance level. So my first thought here would be a retest of the high. And as long as it's holding below here, I would be looking for a drop back into 0 0.7191. So it's tested this level a number of times here and it has failed. Um, so as long as it holds below 0 0.7320, we are looking for a drop. So neutral bias here, looking for it to stay range bound. So once we get a bearish candle or, or a rejection here, um, I should say bearish uh, reversal signal at the top of the range, then um, we would be looking for 0 0.7190. New Zealand dollar, this one's actually gone up. And um, this one is neutral to bullish here. So I am looking for a retest of 0 0.6750. And again, if it holds below here, we're looking for a drop. So right now, um, all the US dollar crosses will have to watch the stock market. If the money starts flowing out of the stock market, so if selling comes into the stock market again, we are likely to see the dollar crosses drop as well. So the money will flow out of the stock market and into the US dollar, making it um, go up as a result. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. With this one here, one thing to keep in mind would be the high of today as well. It is into resistance. So it could turn from there or it could go into 0 0.6750. Dollar cat here as well, neutral candle, hasn't really done a whole lot. So for the last couple of days, it's just been sideways. So the market is just kind of waiting to see um, which way really the stock market goes here. So as we can see here, price is into strong support resistance level. This is where it has struggled. And now this is where it is struggling again. So all in all, this is an important support resistance level. So neutral bias, completely neutral at this point. This one, we just have to wait and see. Uh, essentially, uh, what I'm looking for again is we may get a pullback into 1.3240 and then how does it react to that? So if it goes through, we could see a continuation, but um, not really willing to get ahead of this one because 
we could get one of these as well. So right now it's a wait and see again. So neutral bias here, I am going to just leave um, these two levels here, 1.3240 and 1.3120. And um, that's what I will be uh, basically looking to do trade. So time to wait and see for this one as well. Uh, silver here, uh, silver is looking mm, sideways as well. We do have a bit of a, a bullish close for the day. So I will look for a move towards 27.50. And only if it goes through that, then we're looking for 27.85 level here. So, so slight bullish bias here. But again, it doesn't seem to have a lot of momentum behind it. So we may see one of these or it may go a little bit higher and then turn. So neutral to uh, slightly bullish here for silver. Gold, same thing here. It's sideways. It's been sideways for the last little while here. And at this point, um, we do have a bullish candle closed, but it hasn't closed above the previous resistance. So I would say bullish bias here with caution though, because if it doesn't go through this 1965 level, it can still come back and uh, come back into the range. But it does uh, seem to be making um, higher lows, which means we could see a break to the upside. So I would look for 1965, 1975, and potentially 1993 um, as some of the levels to watch here. So bullish bias here for gold. Oil here, oil has been pretty much dead over the last few days here. It's just been sideways and um, today's candle close is completely neutral here. There's no volume um, or no liquidity here. So essentially looking for a bit of a move like that or we may just see a drop here. So once it breaks through the support, then we can look for a next leg higher, sorry, lower. Uh, but right now, this is very, very neutral. Copper here, copper has pushed up. Um, so slightly bullish bias. It is, again, still trading in this range. A lot of these, um, like I said, are not really doing a whole lot. Um, so this has been a range bound move. I will look for a move back towards the high of 3.05. And if it holds below, looking for a drop. So for this one as well, the best place to look for a trade would be right into the high. Uh, because if it holds there, then that would be a good place to look for that, uh, take that move back into the support here. So for now, bias is um, neutral to bullish, looking for a retest of 3.05. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin looking bullish. We have had a nice move here today. So it is into resistance. And so that's important. Uh, but should it break through this resistance here, next target is 11,000. So right now, bullish bias for Bitcoin. Okay, let's take a look at our stock market here. Stock market has been sideways for the last several days. And this is where pretty much everything is waiting on the stock market to do something to show its hand so uh, that we can get direction in other places. So today we did have a bullish close for the day. So I'm looking for a potential move into this 3420 level. And that will be an important uh, area to monitor here. So if it holds below, again, looking for that move back towards the bottom of the range. So um, this is basically our classic range bound trade. Um, best place again to look for this would be right into this 3420 area. So right now, um, neutral um, bias for S&P 500. NASDAQ, same thing here, a bit of a move higher. But again, this one has been stuck in a range for over a week now, essentially. So at this point, we may see another retest of the high and um, then a drop. Or what could happen here would be price fails to move through this support resistance level. And then it, it could drop from here. But um, I would look at this 11,500 level to see if it'll go through, but we'll keep the today's high in mind. If it doesn't break, that, that would um, mean that we are looking for 
uh, an immediate drop, but we may get a pullback into this 11,580 level. Uh, so I would keep more of an eye on this one here because that may that may not materialize, so we'll see. So neutral to slightly bullish bias here for NASDAQ. Dow Jones here, this one has also moved up, but as we can see, it's right into that level again. It's right into that resistance. So if it doesn't break through, we are looking for a drop here. And if the stock market starts to drop, then we're looking for yen crosses to drop and dollar crosses to drop as well. So with this one, um, a neutral bias again, because it is range bound at this point. And 28,200 would be the level to watch here for Dow Jones. And then we have DAX. DAX did give us a bearish signal here. So this one, however, has also been trading in a range. It wasn't able to go through the resistance level here. So with this one, I'm looking for a move back into the bottom of the range. And as we can see, when price turned around here, it came all the way into the bottom. So with this one, there's not as much momentum, but still um, I would look for that move. 12,840 would be the target here. FTSE here, FTSE as well. Not really able to go through the resistance here. And um, I would look for a drop. So bearish bias here and um, next target here is 59.50. Uh, so bearish bias for FTSE as well. Nikkei as well, um, not much volume again, um, but we do see a rejection from the top. So with this one here as well, as long as it holds below 23,600, I'm looking for a move back towards the middle and then potentially bottom of the range over the next few days. So bias here is neutral to slightly bearish uh, for Nikkei as well. All right, any questions before we wrap it up here? Uh, no, no, that's all good, thank you. Okay, perfect, so we'll wrap it up. You guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Yeah, sounds good in the morning again. Yes, so we'll have the training in the morning. Awesome. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, post I'll in the there. Facebook. Group. <laughs> Sorry about this morning. <laughs> and that brings us to the end. But before we wrap it up, just a reminder about the Turning Pro Challenge. We're doing a reset here with this being the last um, last quarter of this year. It has been an interesting year, so time for us to kind of get back on uh, track here. Uh, right now, so normally the Turning Pro Challenge is 997. Um, the current price actually is, um, actually I'm mistaken there, it's 697 here. So you get a 30% discount um, on this. So you can basically join for $300 less here or $200 less here. Uh, what does it include? Uh, we are going to do some live training. Um, as soon as you start, you will have access to the Learn to Trade Forex course, but we'll be redoing the training. So every Tuesday, we'll have a live training session. So I will teach you uh, the material. We're going to make some changes to the, uh, to the outline here. I'm going to um, add some more of... Uh, um, so, some more, um, I should say, strategies uh, to follow trends and so forth, but you will get access to this, uh, this uh, course that we have learned to uh, trade Forex course, which is 497 normally. Uh, and you will get the live training that we'll be doing. Plus you will also get a full year's worth of access to Trade Vault. And this one normally is $127 a month, which means it's over $1,500 a year. And you get all of this for, so you get the $500 plus, so you get basically getting over $2,000 worth of uh, material for $6.97. So this is really a great deal if you are interested in implementing. So this is the focus here will be on teaching, um, teaching you the setups, understanding the market, but main focus will be on implementation. I find a lot of times people will learn stuff so you know it, but you're not doing it. You're not implementing the stuff. So that's what the focus here will be. And that's why we're doing the reset. So we'll focus on implementation every 
evening we'll have live calls. Uh, so generally I, I put out the five uh, or US dollar crosses um, information for free on YouTube, but I actually do way more than that every day. So I only put a small portion of that for free. So if you're part of the trade vault, you will get access to all the pairs that I um, look at or the analysis for all the pairs that I look at. You will also get a spreadsheet every day from me with uh, trades that I am looking at and uh, recommended trades that I am basically uh, following. Um, and uh, with that, we will have profit targets and all of that as well. You will also be part of a private Facebook group and you will get uh, coaching there as well. Every Friday morning, we do a coaching call. So whatever you're struggling with, whatever your questions are, this will be a time to get mentored by me and ask all your questions. Plus the Facebook group, there are others in there and it's a very supportive group uh, there as well. And you so basically you get all the training, you get support with implementing, you get the analysis um, and you get mentoring with me as well. So all of that, um, oh, actually I totally forgot. And because I want to encourage implementation, again, I find people can know the stuff and yet not put it into practice. So um, in order to um, motivate everyone to implement what we are learning here, uh, I'm offering three different prizes. So uh, basically the prizes will be for, uh, so you'll have to declare your targets um, at the, so basically once when we start. So if you want to make 100, your goal is 100 pips a week or 50 pips a week, whatever, you set your target. And what we're trying to do is meet that goal. So we don't want like 2,000 pips in one week and then negative 5,000 in the other week. All we want to do is have that uh, steady flow of money coming in. So we're not taking ridiculous chances and uh, crazy risks. So the idea is to basically be consistent uh, focus will be on consistency more than the amount of money you're making. And for this, you don't do not need a live account. Um, we will, we, you can practice in the demo account as well. So it cannot be any easier, but you have a chance to win three prizes. $3,500 is the first prize, second prize, $1,500, third prize will be $500. So if you are interested in this, I would, um, or if you're interested in improving your training, because uh, trading, that's really the focus of it, and you want to become more consistent with your profits, this is the place to join. Um, you can go to tradingwithvenus.com uh, forward slash courses. And um, for the, when you go to checkout, put in the coupon code, we got this. And that's where you will get your discount. So the price actually is uh, $6.97. I didn't, uh, my calculations are a little off there. So it'll be $6.97 here, you get 30% off. And the um, this promotion is only valid till the end of this week because then we will dive in. And if you join after, the prize will be a regular price of $9.97. So that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading week. So I hope to see you here in the, um, in the challenge, implementing everything you've learned. Um, all right, I will see you later. Bye for now.